random number between 1 and 63. 19. 2, 3, 4, 18, 19. Oh, it disturbs some. Okay. 12 tracks, so 1 to 12. Let's see here. No, oh, number 12. So, all right. So, this is how I think I'm going to pick my covers, or you can pick my covers. So, you can pick a number from 1 to 63. I'll count it out, pick out the CD, and then randomly generate a uh, number for the number of songs on the album, and then we'll see if we can't learn it. So this is going to be uh, the 12th song off of Disturbed's album, uh, Indestructible, uh, Facade. I don't think I've ever even heard that one. Let's, let's look that up. Ads. Another ad. Oh, wait, I know this, yeah. Yeah! Fuck yeah, okay, I remember that shit. Uh, so fun fact about, um, Disturbed. Uh, and me. Um, so before I ever started playing bass, and before my friend had, uh, well, I guess he had, this was either before he had started to plant seeds to manipulate me into wanting to play bass, who was uh, the guitar player in uh, our first band or whatever, and then later in Carnage. Uh, I was watching some music videos on um, on demand, I guess, at my grandma's house. And I was watching Disturbed, and the video for the night came on, right? And, uh, there's this one part, uh, in the video where, um, John, uh, what's his name? John Moyer, I think is the last name. John Moyer, the bass player for Disturbed. There's a part in the video, I think he's in, like, in front of the car, right? So then he's like, he's got his bass or whatever, thick strings, looks massive. And then he's like jamming out, -na 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 -na. and the camera is going following him. So it just looks full. It just looks epic. It's just gum 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 gum, and it was just massive. And in that moment, I was like, "That is power. I don't want that." So the, uh, yeah, I think this. Uh, so that this band and him had a big role in. Um, me envisioning myself as a bass player, which led me to end up practicing and getting a bass and whatnot. So that's, it's kind of cool that the first time I uh, do this random, random generating, pick a album, pick a song, and it's uh, disturbed. This, this one is uh, open, a little broken too, so I've probably had this one for a long time. Most of these CDs, they're not even out of the plastic yet. Like, let's see, I've got this Lifehouse, Still in the plastic. I'm gonna put that back just because it's not, this is not in any order, not in any order whatsoever. But since I'm gonna be picking songs out of here or albums out of here, um, I'll just leave it how it is. It's random right now, so it'll always be random until we put it all back. So let's try to learn this song. You know what's cool is that um, I took my Carnage bass in to get set up. And uh, obviously it's a five string, but I didn't want it in um, I didn't want it in drop A or just regular five string tuning. I wanted uh, so I was like, oh, let's just do C G uh, C F, and um, I don't know what to do with the top with the you know the B string, and the guy was just like, let's turn it to drop drop A. It's like okay, bet. So uh, but turns out. That's what this song's in, so that's cool. I didn't know if, like, anybody had actually, like, um, like, obviously I know they play in drop C or whatever, C standard and whatever else, but I didn't know that drop A was, um, something that they normally did. Or I didn't know it was something that anybody did, I guess. Oh, is that, oh, is that the whole intro? Kind of up my up my alley with them. Delphine, Delphine, calm it down. Delphine, don't lay down, baby. 
Anyways, it's funny that um, uh, the way the song is, the way the tabs are, is uh, it's kind of up my alley and like stuff I would write, kind of. So interesting. Had some influences that I didn't necessarily know about. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and really dig deep into this song. If you want to pick the next album that I pick out of there, in the comments down below and in the cover video, comment a number between 1 and 63. That's how many CDs I got sitting there. And then your cover, your album might be chosen. So, um... Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next cover video.